So hi, hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. And today I will show you how to access and visualize the global tree cover using Google Earth Engine. So let's get started. So to access and visualize the global tree cover, uh, tree cover using Earth Engine, first we have to load our country's data set into Earth Engine. That is our country's boundary into Earth Engine. So to do, uh, add our country's boundary into Earth Engine, define a variable called countries equals to double e dot feature collection, United States of Department of State, large scale international boundary, simple 2017. Use the specific code to insert the country's boundary layer into Earth Engine. So next to uh, visualize our global tree cover, so we have to load our uh, load tree cover data. So to load a tree cover data into Earth Engine, define a variable called tree cover 2014 equals to double dot image and use the specific code to import our tree cover data into Earth Engine. So use the specific code to insert our uh, tree cover data into Earth Engine. So next to display our tree cover data, to uh, let just uh, let us uh, state map dot add layer tree cover 2014. So tree cover 2014 refer to referring to our tree cover data 2014 dot dot clip countries. So we are clipping with our country's boundary layer that is here the variable called countries. We are using our country's boundary layer to clip our data set. So in order to avoid the water, uh, so to uh, avoid the ocean uh, level data and only to view our country's level uh, tree cover data. So for that we define dot clip countries and next is uh, we're using our specific band called tree cover 2000. So we are using the specific band to you to view our global tree cover in earth engine. So for that we defined a uh, define bands and uh, tree cover 2000. Now to view our uh, changes that is our tree cover changes we have to define two sets of color palettes. So we have defined two sets of color palette one is indicated in black and one is indicated in green. So green refers to the tree cover, global tree cover and uh, black refers to non, uh, there is a uh, no tree cover, non tree cover and with the maximum value 100 and output the layer name as forest cover. So next we're going to uh, add a color for that is our uh, thickness of our country's boundary layer and uh, specify the boundaries color and output the layer as country's boundary. So for that let me define map dot add layer doubly dot image. So the image here refers to this particular data the, the tree cover data. So the image here refers to that and dot paint countries. So countries here refers to our country boundary layer. So this one our country boundary layer. So we have uh, defined image dot paint countries the 0 and 1 refers to the size of the our boundary uh, boundary and with the color palette of uh, with defining the color palette uh, color palette for our boundary layer that is red and the country's boundary output the layer name as country's boundary so you can be able to view that we set our size for our country's uh, boundary with specific color called red so here you can clearly able to view that now to uh, at last uh, to center of a layer have defined uh, map dot center object tree cover 2014 that is referring to our layer tree cover 2014 our tree cover data with the zoom level of 3. Now let me run this co code go to the option called run script click run script. So now we can able to view clearly view the, the tree cover data, the global level tree cover data. So let me show you this. So this is a global uh, tree cover data. So we have a uh, green indicating our tree covers. And similarly, the red color indicates our country's boundary layer. So this is a tree cover data that is a percentage of tree cover data for global level using our using our Hansen uh, data the global forest chain 2014. 
so you can clearly able to view that so the here the green color indicates the thick green color indicates a higher uh, tree cover and uh, the lower green color indicates the lower density of tree covers and the black color indicating uh, no uh, no trees so we can clearly view in africa we have very high uh, we have very high uh, forest cover in this part of this region and let me show you here so in india we have a uh, the concentrated uh, tree cover is the uh, tree cover is very high towards the southwest and also in the and also towards the northeast and few parts of uh, southeast and uh, here we have a very high uh, very high density of uh, tree cover let me view this area so it is thailand cambodia and also let me uh, turn this layer so in this particular region we have very high uh, tree cover density so uh, including china we have a very high tree cover so here we can able to view that in uh, south india we have a very high uh, tree cover towards the southwest and compared to uh, southeast we have a very low density of tree cover you can also uh, perform uh, one thing you can use an inspector tool, tool to uh, view the density of tree cover so let me show you that so go to the inspector section and we have this plus symbol now click here so there will be a data will be displayed in the inspector section so you can see that the tree cover density is around 70 now let me uh, click other area so in this region is a black let me click this so you can see the tree cover density is very low zero now let me click here so the tree cover density is around 54 and let me click here similarly the tree cover density is around 44 so using this data you can able to clearly view the forest uh, forest cover of entire globe so it is very useful data because this data set is available for global level so in this video i have shown you how to access and visualize the global uh, tree cover data using using our hansen hansen data and how to load our country's data set and uh, to access our uh, tree cover data and to display our tree cover in earth engine so thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.